What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Chris Bennett, and I got a beer review for you. Um, before I start this beer review, I know I haven't done a beer review in a while, and I'm really good at the comparison between two beers kind of beer reviews, but this one is a special beer review. Um, I'm actually going to compare two different hard root beers. Yes, um... Both these beers are distributed by my work, um, Robert Chick Fritz Distributing here in Springfield, Illinois. Got to give a shout out to my work, of course. And um, they're actually both pretty good hard root beers. Uh, one comes in at 5.9% and the other one comes at 5.8%. So um, I normally don't. Uh, drink like hard root beers and stuff. I'm uh, more of a hop head, an IPA, or a hoppy wheat, or you know, just a like a imperial stout or a pumpkin beer and stuff like that. But um, my wife really likes the hard root beers, and there's one in particular that she really liked. And when the other one came out into the market, I said, you know what, I'm going to uh, do a comparison uh show a uh, video i mean for uh these root beers now the first one i'm presenting is the coney island uh hard root beer um which uh sam adams uh owns so oh and this one is the 5.8 percent one This one tastes like you're actually drinking a regular root beer out of a can, folks, even though both these beers come out of a bottle. This one tastes like almost like an A&W um, root beer. Um, and they just, you know, just hop the, the add a lot of um, alcohol to it. Yeah, 5.8 won't get you in trouble, but. I just start off, if I'm going to drink a hard root beer, I'm just going to start off with, off with one of these and then go to another one. Maybe have another hard root beer somewhere down the road uh, for the night or whatever or finish one up as a dessert one or whatnot. But it's not something I'm going to drink all night long. So Now, the other one is another popular one. I mean, I probably would say probably more popular than the Sam Adams. Um, this one is the Not Your Father's Root Beer, which comes in at 5.9%. Um, and it's owned by uh, Paps Blue Ribbon. So... Actually, it's owned by a, a small town brewery, but um, they're owned by PBR. So here's the uh, Not Your Fathers, and let's get a sip on this one as well. In my opinion, uh, the Not Your Fathers is like almost drinking, oh, what root beer comes close to that? Like a sugary mug. A mug root beer that's like, has a little bit more sugar to it. Um, corn syrup, sugar, whatever. Um, and, uh, um. The one I liked, and I didn't want to, you know, tell you before the video which one I liked the best. Um, I have to go with the Coney Island. I love the Coney Island. It's more my liking. The wife loves the Not Your Father. I mean, she likes the, you know, the, sh uh, the more sweet type drinks. I'm not into the, like, really sweet stuff. 
I mean, don't get me wrong, when it comes to, like, the fall time and stuff, when the pumpkin beers come out, I mean, I love a good pumpkin beer that's, like, sweet and very pumpkin-y, but for root beer, for hard root beer right now, I think the Coney Island beats the Nacho Fathers. Sorry, folks, but, uh, um, I, at least so this will, uh, make Scott White, who's one of my, uh, uh, hosts on my show, um, happy because, uh, he's a big San Ann's fan, and since, um, the Coney Island is a, a subsidiary of, uh, the Sam Ann's brand, then, uh, um, he would, he would, uh, he'd give me a thumbs up, wouldn't you, Scott? <laughs> anyway, um, let's get back to the winner, the winner. Coney Allen. All right. Uh, this is your boy, Chris Bennett. Check out my other YouTube videos, especially the Beer and Bullshit show uh, episodes. And hopefully somewhere down the road, I'll do another comparison video since I'm better at those than the regular ones. All right. You take care. Peace.